Hey guys, welcome to the third and last video of our SimScale simulation challenge. So in this last video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can download the results from the SimScale workbench, but also import them inside of Paraview and how you can use the basic operations there. So we are now still in the SimScale workbench. And if you go to the simulation runs and click on a finished run, you can click on solution fields or the context menu of the solution fields, then click on download results or download result. This will download a zipped file, which you can extract to any folder you want. And what you then do is to open the so-called .pvd file. And you can either click apply, which will be here. This button will be able to click while you click this eye icon here which will then show you the component what you can then do is either to choose the for Mises stress the displacement and other stresses that are relevant let's say if we have the displacement we have the displacement magnitude on the right hand side you can move that around by holding the leftmost key and dragging it around you can you can use the leftmost key to rotate your object the leftmost key and hold it to zoom in and out also the scroll wheel and if you hold the scroll wheel you can pan around the object what you can also do is to go a solid color and then put the mesh on top of that there you can do some mesh observations maybe you want to learn about the fineness but you can also do let's say a mesh clip inside of the workbench if you go to the mesh and then just click this symbol here called mesh clip there, then you can also cut through the mesh and have a look at the mesh quality inside of the structure so what you can also do is to choose different filters for Mac if you want to call a filter you click uh, option or alt and then the spacebar this will give you some filters then you can choose something like slice just type it in and then click enter in case you are happy with the selection these are the basics, the very basics of Paraview. I will put some links below the video from SimScale where you can find a video from the YouTube channel of SimScale, how you can use Paraview post-processing and also some forum posts that are very helpful. In case you want to download Paraview, I mean, that's important. In case you don't have Paraview, you go to paraview.org slash download and can either download the latest version 5.7, but I would recommend downloading the version before so 5.6 or maybe even 5.5 um, there's no big of a change especially like for FEA simulations but if it comes to CFD they have included some special renderers but that's not very important for our challenge so you can just download 5.6, 5.5 and even 5.4 um, the thing is that 5.7 or the latest version is sometimes unstable or buggy so what I like to do is I download 5.7 5.6 and an earlier version that I have is 5.4 or 5.3 exactly so if you have any questions how to use Paraview you can also write down in the comment section and I'll make sure to include it in the Q&A session on the weekend one last important thing I want to mention here is that you can also export a screenshot if you go to file then save screenshot you can choose a file name, let's say test for the sake of explanation, choose the image resolution, then you can either keep the background color or click transparent background. I prefer transparent background. It looks more pleasing to the eye and then click OK and then it will be exported to the folder that you have selected. So I hope that helps you. Uh, also make sure in the third PDF to include the final deflection results, the formesis stress, the weight of your design using Onshape as well as some nice images, uh, as I've just shown you, in your project submission to make sure that your ranking will be very high. And of course, the likes will be relevant as well. So with that being said, very brief video. Any questions, just write them in the comment section or contact me privately. I'm happy, happy to help. I would say good luck with the simulation challenge. Happy sim scaling. And if you have any questions, I'm here to help you out.